guys good morning welcome back to the channel welcome back to another vlog if you guys are new here welcome my name is jenna and i am home on a wednesday which is obviously not part of the plan if you guys saw my last vlog i kind of ended off explaining a little bit of what's going on so basically i've had like lower back issues for the past probably like eight months i think i said six last time but it's probably around eight and i kind of like snapped yesterday in the sense that like my back just got to a point and now it's like hurting at all times i made there's just like a whole fiasco going on right now and i tried to make a chiropractor appointment this morning i used the zocdoc app and i found an acupuncturist that i wanted to go to just because i feel like with it just feels more muscular than it does chiropractic like if they were to just do an adjustment and obviously i know nothing and it'll be good to get an opinion from him but i'm gonna do the acupuncturist i know like not everyone enjoys getting needles stuck in them it doesn't really bother me but i've gone to, to acupuncture before so i feel like it's not going to be that different for me so we're going to do a quick little tuesday vlog or tuesday it's not even tuesday we're going to do a little wednesday vlog just because i am home and i figured i would chat to you guys and there's one thing that i started to do that i want to share with you guys so i will just make this like a very little chatty relaxing kind of like hang out with me for the day kind of vlog if you guys don't subscribe already make sure you do i'm just finishing up my skincare and then i'm actually gonna go to the pharmacy i'm gonna go to Dwayne reed and get myself a heating pad and some tiger bomb because what happened with um my appointment this morning is that they're saying that like my insurance doesn't match my name which doesn't make any sense so i got in touch with the insurance company and they're basically just saying that it's going to take 24 to 48 hours for them to figure it out and i'm like is it possible to please like expedite that because i can't just keep taking off work because my back feels like this and i feel like i have to get a treatment in order for it to feel better in order for me to go back to work so i'm trying to like you know politely suggest <laughs> um that they try to like get it done by like this afternoon but i obviously like don't know what the situation is there i don't know like how many, i'm sure they have a bunch going on and i'm not their only client so that's what's going on today i ended up just editing videos in bed this morning and i filmed a bunch yesterday so i wanted to just make sure that I really use this time to like chill, but also if I'm just laying there instead of watching shows and binge watching, which I'm not good at anyway, then I might as well just like get something out of it. So my Amazon favorites video is halfway edited and then I have my charcoal one to do. And then I have a vlog that's like ready to go up. So I know I promised you guys that my Anita Bang sweatshirt wouldn't be in this video, but she's actually right here. The butter stain was right around here. So you guys can see that my stain devils got it out and I'm actually going to show you them even though I literally have to squat to bend down nowadays. I'm just going to show you them quickly. I feel like it's worth it for me to show you them anyway. Also, I'm kind of glad that my Indian and Bing sweatshirt is not in commission right now because I absolutely love this one and it's like 63 degrees out today. So it's perfect like legging sweatshirt weather. Actually, it might be a little bit warm in this, but it's a really cute like brunette crew neck. And then on the back, it says Babes, what does it say? Eternal Kindness Babes Club. They have like really good, like upbeat, very positive messages on their sweatshirts. And I think they just came out with a set that says, leave it better than you found it. And I was like, wow, my mom told me that every single day of my life when I was growing up to just leave people better than you found them. If you go to like someone's house for a play date, like you leave the playroom better than you found it. Like. Basically, I don't know, it applies to every single like area of life. So I'm like, I kind of want to get that one, but they have some like really cute cream ones too that I think are adorable. And I don't have any cream sweatshirts, so we'll see about that. But let me show you the little magic things that got this butter stain out of my shirt. Going down. Okay, <laughs> so these little magic things are called stain devils and they're by the brand carbona and basically each one has 
a specific formula for things that you need to like get out of your clothes. So this one is fat and cooking oil. That's the one that I used on this sweater and that's the one that I used like probably the most out of all of these just because I always spill like butter and olive oil and all that kind of stuff on my clothes. And so this one is like, the supply of this one is depleting more than the others. But then there's also ink, marker, and crayon, which I didn't even think you can get those things out of clothing. Chocolate, ketchup, and mustard. I do use this one a lot too because you know when you're just like eating Reese's Pieces and like one piece of the Reese's like crumbles off of like the main piece and then it gets on your clothes somewhere and you don't even notice and then it melts because obviously your body's like warm. That happens to me a lot. I don't know if that was like way too specific and you guys were like, Jenna, what are you even talking about? But it's happened to me more than once. So I definitely find use in that one. And then this one is grass, dirt, and makeup, which I mean, I don't know. I feel like everyone, mostly everyone my age wears makeup to some extent. So I feel like that one's really important. I only have four of them, but I think on Amazon they come in a set of like 10 or something. So I'll link these for you guys. Basically all you do is just, it, they're all um, like little, kind of like, it's not like a jelly formula. It's like a serum formula, if you guys know what I mean. Like a hyaluronic acid kind of consistency. And you drop a couple drops on like the wet stain and just let it sit for a little bit. And then you can either scrub it with a toothbrush with some soap or just like leave it and then rinse it. I didn't even use soap on this one and all the butter came out. So thank God for the Carbona Stain Devils because this is my favorite sweatshirt of all time. And if I stained it like that, I would have been so annoyed at myself because the Anina Bang hoodies and sweatshirts are such good like quality and I would have been so mad because they're also kind of like pricey. So I like wear it so much that obviously it was bound to happen based on like my behavior because I always spill food on myself. But you know, I wasn't willing to just let this one go. I really wanted to treat it like right away. I think this sweatshirt has, yeah, see this one even has stains on it. You guys can see. Maybe I'll try to treat them before next time I wash them because these things have even gotten like dried stains out of my stuff. This one actually was dry because that night I was too tired and didn't treat the stain and I was like, I'm gonna regret this in the morning. And I ended up just treating it twice and it all came out. So even on dry stains, amazing. Okay, now I'm being like super dramatic and I'm gonna wear my, did you guys know that on cloud sneakers are not called on cloud? They're just called on, like on running sneakers. I'm like sitting here calling them on cloud this entire time and that's not, the brand, it's just on. So I have my on cloud sneakers cause that's the type that I have from them. That's like the style that I have. And I'm gonna wear those because I'm gonna walk down to the drugstore and I'm just being dramatic in the sense that like, oh, we have to wear our sensible like walking shoes. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know guys, you know, I'm just a little bit, I'm just a little bit of a mess right now and it's fine. We all have these times, but I just, you know, Last week I had my mental health days and then this week I'm home because of this problem and I'm like, I just, I gotta go to work and not have problems. Like this is, I'm just not used to this. So anyway, I've been chatting to you guys for a while. My intention was just to start off the vlog, but I guess we had a little chit chat here and I'm gonna run to Dwayne Reed now and get all of my medical supplies and probably be sitting on a heating pad for the rest of the day, which actually sounds really nice. All right, just showing you my alpha quickly. This is the full crew neck, really cute and oversized. I think I have this in a size large, very adorable. I love the color of it. And I have my Lululemon belt bag on just because it's so nice to just be able to walk and be hands-free. If you guys don't have this already, it's $38. I'll link it for you. It's such a good like value for Lululemon and obviously really convenient and such good quality. Then I have a talentless tank underneath this just cause I didn't feel like wearing a bra. And my leggings are third love. These are the ones that I like am obsessing over. I've had these for probably since I moved in. So like nine months and they're still my favorite running leggings. And then I have on high socks from H&M and my on running sneakers. My watch is from Breda. So I'm gonna go to Dwayne Reed really quickly. It's probably the only time that I'm gonna be getting out there. Is it raining? I don't know why it sounds like rain. I really hope it's not because I don't have room in here for an umbrella. So I guess we just have to hope for the best. Um, also, I'm hoping that a heating pad is not too expensive, like 20 bucks or something, because I really don't want to be spending a lot of money right now, but I kind of need it. So yeah, we'll see how that goes. Um, but let's get going before it starts to rain. I literally look so tired with no makeup on, it's insane. But I was just coming out of my building and saw 
a delivery guy leave the food at the door for whoever like ordered it on some sort of app and he has to like take a picture of it and the girl like comes out to get her food while he was still taking the picture and was like fully in these like little like crop top pajama situation. I was like, she just opened the door. There's like a stranger there dropping off her food and she's wearing that stuff. I'm like, okay, so from now on, we need to just make sure that we wait a second so that they can take the picture, you know? Guys, they have the Toll House chip, which is it's taking everything in me not to buy them, but I can't even bend down anyway, so we're just gonna leave them here. But the Dwayne Reed ice cream section, amazing. Okay guys, just got back from Dwayne Reed and got all the goods. I'm gonna do a little unboxing, even though this is not relevant to anybody, unless you guys have back pain too. But I ended up getting a little heating pad this was the smaller one and I figured that since it's just like my lower back, it's like plenty fine. It's six by 15 inches. So it's kind of like, I don't know, a little bit like more now than a piece of paper, but it should be fine. And then I got these heating pads because I figure if I can't get into the chiropractor today, then I will probably have to just like do my own remedies and I'll probably wear one of these. I don't know, there's only two? These were $10, jeez. I was gonna wear one of them today, but I feel like I shouldn't and just save it for work for the rest of the week. But I'll just have that on like all day because it says it's 16 hours of like pain relief. And then I just got this little thing of Tiger Bomb. I think it comes with like three cute little jars. Also, everything in there is locked in Dwayne Reed. I'm like, oh, this girl can't even get a deodorant because it's locked. Oh no, there's just one thing in here. They just made it look like there were three. Ooh, going down. Okay, um, but I got this cute little Tiger Bomb, so I'll probably put this on now. I don't know. I love the smell of this stuff, but I feel like it's kind of overwhelming for some people, and I don't want to bother anybody with the scent, so that's why I got the um, heating pads or whatever, like pain relief pads for work, so that I don't like annoy anybody with the scent of Tiger Bomb. Um, but yeah, that's everything that I picked up there. I also just filmed a TikTok because when I was in there, this lady was buying Clorox bleach, band-aids and boom chicka pop and i was like what are you like people just buy the most random obviously the stuff that i bought was pretty random but like it was all in a category this lady just like had to pick up a few things and like that's what she picked up and i was just laughing to myself so i was like yeah i'm gonna share this on tiktok just in case anybody else like can relate um if you guys don't follow me over there it's jenna evangelia just like everything else instagram all that kind of stuff um, but I'm going to get myself set up here. I'm probably going to put the heating pad on my bed and then keep editing YouTube videos because I feel like it's not like, I don't know, the couch is comfortable, but not that comfortable for me to be like laying myself down and trying to, you know, rehabilitate my back. So we'll do that. I'll try to wait and see if the insurance company gets back to me today. And then if not, we're just going to roll with all the natural remedies and hopefully it helps a little bit to the point where I can go to work tomorrow. Okay guys, pulled a little audible. We're going to, we're going to just take a quick outfit picture. I have Steph with me and Reese's back there. I copied Jenna's outfit. <laughs> we, yeah, we went to get dressed and I was like fully, you know, wasn't gonna wear any of this. I was gonna have like a white silk shirt on, some shorts, some heels. And then I looked at the shirt and I was like, I feel like I kind of have to do this one because I'm so obsessed with it. And then Steph is wearing no, yours looks different. Yeah, but I basically crop? copied her, but not off her it's, <laughs> Well, that's what it's literally for. We're here to, we're here to, what's the word? Not inf inspire Inspo. each other. Yeah. Inspo. Um, but we're gonna walk somewhere. I don't know. Somewhere with trees and greenery. Yes. Just to get a little city vibe. But look how pretty picture. this whole block is. It's a little gloomy today. It's like a little sprinkly misting on us. It's a good thing my hair is greasy and it's in a bun. <laughs> Steph was just like, yeah, my hair is gross. I'm like, no, at least yours is down. I can't even keep mine down anymore. That's how bad it is. So. Also, I'm freaking out a little bit about walking in open toe heels in the city because like who even knows what has been on these streets? No, we know what's been on these we know. streets. <laughs> We've seen. And that's why. We've seen it all. And that's why we're scared. But we're not going too far. And these are actually really comfortable, so we are in luck. Yeah, we'll bring Dolce Vita's. Um, 
Yes, They're I haven't gotten a pair of those yet. Maybe I'll get those next because I need like a good neutral one and the ones I picked aren't in stock anymore. So oh, yeah, these are good. maybe I'll try those instead. Okay, so many strangers. So I will talk to you guys after we shoot. All right, update you guys. Sitting here on my heating pad in heaven. I have two pillows, my little snow leopard blanket. My air conditioning is on just so that I don't like sweat, but it was also pretty clammy in here from before because it's clammy outside. And this cheap little heating pad, I mean, it wasn't that cheap. It was like $26, so it's kind of a lot. Why does it look like I have a mustache? I swear I don't. Um, but this thing has like a high and low setting and it turns off automatically after two hours. So it's doing this thing where it's like heating up a lot and then it'll stop. So I think it's like temperature regulating and it just knows how high it should go. Um, but it feels sensational and I feel like it's actually helping because I got up like five minutes ago to get my charger for my computer and like it doesn't feel as like tight and inflamed, I guess. Um, so that's a plus. But we went and shot outside. It started pouring on us. So that was kind of funny. And um, we kind of like got the pictures before it started to like really rain, but it was definitely raining in the photos. So, you know, sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do. I mean, I didn't have to do that. I just did that one because I was like feeling okay to walk around a little bit after going to the drugstore. And so, and figured I would get a look in. And now I am just sending a couple things for work. I technically I'm taking a sick day, but I have a meeting tomorrow with Singapore. <laughs> so that's super fun. And I just have to like send my boss a couple things in preparation for that. Hopefully I'll be able to go in the office tomorrow, but if not, I'll be joining the meeting from my computer. And then Friday I have a half day and we'll see how I feel then, but hopefully going in tomorrow because I just feel like I'm missing so much and it's like, I don't know. It's kind of stressful when I'm not at work because I obviously if I could work from home for, you know, however many days a week, I would just do that. But because my role doesn't really support an at home kind of structure every time that I'm home, I'm like, OK, I always have like enough work to do after the buildup of work over two weeks. But I can't do this every single week. So I'm kind of feeling like a little bit like I'm missing out on stuff that I could be doing, like physically in the office and everything. So. Yeah, I mean, I know I just need to like sit here and rest and like shut up about it, but um, yeah, it's weird. I'm sure no one's like sitting here begging going to work, but I kind of am at this point. So I'm just gonna sit on my heating pad. Hopefully it helps and gets me to a place where I'm able to just like get up and stick through it tomorrow. I'm gonna pop some Aleve, put on my Thermacare pad and hopefully make it through the whole day. I am missing a Lush event tomorrow though, which is kind of sad because they're having you press your own bath bombs. And I thought that, that was really exciting, but I guess I'll just have to wait until another one. There will always be more events and I have a lot of like important stuff going on anyway. So we'll see if I can make it into work tomorrow. Um, so I will just be sitting here doing a couple of work things and then I'm going to hop back onto my personal computer and keep editing my YouTube videos because it's like five o'clock now and I kind of want to get my Amazon haul up for tonight, but we'll see if youtube cooperates with me and if youtube doesn't then i'll just upload a vlog it's the nice thing about having vlogs all the time is that i can just like upload those in between if i don't have like a set like concept video ready and i can still get some videos up so that you guys can watch them um but i will talk to you guys in a bit and i'm just gonna get my work done good morning you guys just when you thought this vlog was over it's not because I'm home again because I still am having back issues. So basically I woke up this morning at 7.15. I slept with my heating pad on twice. I think I woke up throughout the night and turned it back on because it only goes for two hours and then it automatically shuts off. And I sat up in bed and still couldn't like fully sit down. So I've been up since then, like literally haven't sit down since 7.15 and it's like 10 o'clock now. Um, and we are gonna go to the Lush event that's on Lexington, so that should be really great. Um, I'm like so like excited that I was invited to go because I used to walk past that store on the mall all the time and it was just like, it always smelled so delicious. And I think we're pressing our own bath bombs, which is so exciting. I was just telling my boyfriend the other day about bath bombs and that I had never tried one before. Now we'll be able to get one today. 
Um, but I woke up, my hair was crazy, and I put it into a slip bun with like a ton of hairspray because I had a meeting at 8.30 and I was presenting, so I needed to make sure that I looked normal. Also, I had to turn my camera on, so everyone saw my room, which was very tidy, which thank God. Um, I got up a little bit earlier so that I could sign on, make sure that my space was all clean, just in case I needed to put my camera on, and then my boss asked me to, so I was prepared for that, which was nice. And now I'm just fixing my hair now because it was, like I woke up looking like the girl from Brave with my curly, wavy hair all over the place. Um, and now I'm just fixing it with a straightener. I blow dried the front pieces a little bit because I had like this huge curl, like where your baby hairs go. I had like a full on curl and it was sticking straight out of my head. So fixed that, gonna do straight today. And then we have another event tonight um, that I'll probably just wear a bun to, but I haven't really decided yet. We'll see how this hair wears during the day and then I'll decide later. Um, but I need to pick out my outfit for right now. I was gonna do something fun, but I think I'm just gonna do like a racer tank and trousers and just be plain because I don't know why. <laughs> I'm like sitting here, to, I don't know. I just feel like I haven't, because I wore like a purple outfit yesterday, I'm like, okay, we gotta tone it back down to our roots and just do gray and black. So that's the plan for the outfit, but I'll show you guys what I end up wearing before I leave. And seriously, this $30 straightener is like the best thing to ever happen to me. Like I'm just excessively straightening my hair right now. I don't need to be doing this. It just feels so good because it's so smooth and everything. But this is the final look. I think I'm gonna do like, maybe spray this down and just have it be like really slick to my face and just let the rest do whatever it wants. But it actually makes my hair look a little bit longer than it did when I first got it cut like two days ago. <laughs> actually, it was like a week ago, which is kind of crazy. Um, but yeah, so I'm ready. Basically, I'm just gonna throw on a little bit of eyeliner because I might do a picture in this outfit without sunglasses on. Big thing for me. I never take a picture on Instagram without sunglasses. I don't know why. I think it's because my eyes are always like half shut and I look drunk. So why would we want that on the feed? Um, but yeah, let me just, yeah, we're gonna do some top eyeliner, maybe put on a little bit of Charlotte Tilbury's eyeshadow. And then I have like one eyebrow hair that's not going along with the rest of the group. So I'm gonna try to fix that too. And yeah, but this is the linen shirt that I showed you guys in my charcoal haul and I love it. It's like super oversized. And obviously since I was on a call, let's step up on the shower, hopefully I don't break my back more, but I was wearing little sweat shorts on the bottom. Yeah, it's an outfit check if I've ever seen one. All right, you guys, we're getting ready to leave, but look what I did. And I fully thought about it seven times before I did it. Basically, we ran out of dishwasher pods, but I couldn't have a full dishwasher. So I decided to put this dish liquid in there. And I was like, oh yeah, I've seen it in movies. Like this is definitely gonna overflow, but I was like, let me just not fill it up all the way. So I didn't. Oh, so you knew that oh I literally was like, there's a really good chance that this could bubble. Oh my God. But then I was like, oh, it could also not because I'm not filling the, the little cup thing all the way. And it bubbled and it started leaking on the ground. <laughs> I just went to get dressed. And Steph was like, oh my God, the thing is leaking. And I was like, she's talking about the dishwasher for sure. And I was like, shit. So she just cleaned up the bubbles that started to leak on the floor. But my other part, like this was the thing. It was so dumb, and I, but I thought about it so much. Like I was like, oh. It's the thought that counts. Yeah, I was like, we're gonna be home. So if it does overflow, like I'll be able to stop it. But I didn't catch it first, Steph caught it. So she like knew that I did this. <laughs> she was like, yeah, this happened to me once in college. I was like, that makes me feel absolutely terrible about myself because I'm a 19 year old apparently trying to wash dishes. But we're gonna wait until the bubbles all pop down while we're gone and then probably just run it on a rinse cycle to just wash all the bubbles off. Cause I mean, I'm not gonna lie. Everything looks really clean. <laughs> I just, I'm, I'm just a little confused at myself because I was fully like, this could happen, but let's do it anyway. Like, I've been in this apartment for too many days and I'm like, let's live on the edge. <laughs> let's throw the dish soap in. <laughs> but just pro tip, not that anyone out there would ever do this because it was so dumb, but don't put dish liquid in your, in your dishwasher. Only the kind that is for dishwashers. Okay, bye.
Okay, you guys, we're about to head out and I needed to show you guys my outfit real quickly. And the lighting just got so good in here. So I'm wearing something pretty plain, but because I just wore a really colorful outfit yesterday, I wanted to get back to my roots. So my necklace is from that place called PNK. Sunglasses chain is Amazon. These are my classic Ray-Bans that I wear and everything. Um, my tank top is from Charcoal. It's in that haul that I just did. And then my trousers are Mango. I have my platform Converse on. I was gonna wear my New Balance um, shoes that are right there, but I have an outfit that's very similar to this that I wore those, so I just decided to change up the shoes a little, and I have my Chanel bag on, which you guys haven't really seen yet because I'm still like throwing up at the fact that I spent this much money on something. Um, but we're gonna take the subway all the way up there and probably grab a coffee at some point because since I'm not spending money on commuting today, that means we can get ourselves a little coffee. Yeah. In there. Except there's not even a lot in there. It's totally I know. No, we didn't have any forks left. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. So we just got back from, well, we're not back back, but we're farther downtown. We are, well, we accidentally went up to Queens because we got on the uptown train. Yeah. Happened to the best of us. And... <laughs> Since I flooded the dishwasher and Stephanie took us on the wrong train, I'm we're gonna. For my, like, my <laughs> we're just like, okay, something's <laughs> gonna happen to me. Example. I'm gonna screw up in some way or another. Um, but as a reward, we're gonna walk to Ralph's now and get a coffee because we haven't gotten one today, and that was my goal. <laughs> I'm like, if I'm not paying to commute and I have to stand up every time I have to be up today because I can't sit, then we're gonna get a latte or maybe a cold brew. I don't know. I've been getting cold brews recently because I feel like the latte is too milky. I'm on my dirty chai kick, so mm. it's my way of living. It's my way of living. Yeah, um, I've tried them, but I think because I know that it tastes like tea, because I, I had chai tea before I had a chai latte, so I'm like, this yeah. just tastes like tea with milk in it, which well, it is. It's weird because like, <laughs> I don't even like chai, but if yeah. you put some espresso on there, I'm there. Wait. That's what makes it dirty, is a shot of espresso? Yeah, a shot of espresso. What the hell? Yeah. Okay. You may have to try that one day. But I don't think I've had Ralph's cold brew. I think I've only gotten their lattes before. I'm going to Ralph's actually. Really? Yeah, oh my gosh, it's so great. You're gonna love it. Yay! It's amazing. It's so cute. And they're, you might want to buy a mug because they're I, just, the I branding is amazing. I am yeah. a mug. I will buy a mug right now. Yeah, so we're gonna stop at Ralph's and then go home and make some lunch or stop somewhere on the way, depending on what everyone wants to do. Stuff is lagging. <laughs> and um, what else? Oh, and I'll show you guys what we got at Lush today, because we got some exciting little things. It was so fun. Here we go. The reward that we don't deserve. <laughs> style these pieces of hair and I think the humidity is just making them pop straight out of my head but we just got back from Ralph's and the Lush event obviously I updated you guys when we were out there I ended up going with the cold brew and had to ask them to put a little bit more vanilla in there because I just love my coffee so sweet and normally when I get a latte it's like very sweet because it's mostly milk um, but really really good I think I'm gonna start getting cold brews from now on just because it's a little bit less milky and I mean this color is a little bit darker than what I normally go for in a coffee but it's still really really good Ralph's has like very good like drip coffee so super happy about that and I'm gonna show you guys what I got at Lush so they had a little section where you can make your own bath bomb and it's supposed to sit in here for I think 24 hours they said so right now like they we put gloves on they had us put it inside the gloves so that it wouldn't open up and this is mine <laughs> mind you i've never used a bath bomb before which is kind of crazy i feel like that's a little bit weird um but i wanted to color block mine and i can't find where the green is so it kind of just looks like pink and oh it kind of has like a marbly texture so this is my bath bomb they smell incredible and lush is like one of those brands that i feel like they started on the clean beauty track before anybody else did. I know Sephora has all of their clean beauty and their like entire section of clean beauty, but Lush kind of started first. So they're 
little baggies say fresh is our middle name which is so cute they also have just like really nice packaging it's very simple you know black and brown keeping it neutral and the other things that i picked up i will show you guys quickly so we have a face and body mask i got the cup of coffee one because i told them that i tend to not wash my face in the morning and i'm feeling like i will start to do it if i use this so this is what it looks like inside i can't really like show you guys without tipping it all over but it smells like coffee and so i am gonna love using this in the morning because i love the taste of coffee now and it's a rich and robust mask to leave the skin radiant and smooth and like i'm all about the radiance lately I have been using the CEO serum, which is like a vitamin C serum from Sunday Riley. And I'm loving having like a glow. And so I feel like with that, with the coffee beans in it, it's gonna like polish the surface of my skin really well. And then what else? So guys, this is probably the thing I'm so excited, like most excited about. And it's the Dirty Styling. So they're all like really funny names. This one's called Dirty and it's a styling cream. So smells really good but it's like a pomade so you can use this you guys know that I like slick my hair back and buns and everything so you can use this as a little product to like apply here and then comb over it I think I am gonna wear my hair like that tonight so I'll try this out and let you guys know how it is and then we also did a hair treatment so this is like a hair mask I'm just like re-smelling everything because it smells so good um, and this one is to improve strength shine and condition your hair and scalp and I feel like in the summer because I always have my part, my scalp always gets burnt, and that's why I wanted to get this one because it's gonna hydrate my scalp and hopefully not give me the whole like dandruff looking thing, which is not cute at all. And then I just got a little honey lip mask. I normally sleep with Aquaphor on my lips and that um, prevents me from needing to, oh my God, that smells so good. <laughs> prevents me from needing to use a lip mask, but there are times where I get lazy and I just don't put it on at night and then I wake up and my lips are like dry and flaky and I feel like that would be a really good product to have. And I've also never owned a lip scrub before, so I feel like that was a good choice. So that's everything that I picked up. I am gonna make myself a quick little grilled cheese for lunch and finish my coffee. And then I'm gonna get on the heating pad because <laughs> I feel like an old lady. Um, but we have another event tonight at the Allure store in Soho. So I just want to relax, make sure that I'm good because I think I'm wearing heels tonight and I want to just like rehabilitate as much as I can before I'm going to be walking around. You guys, I literally haven't sat down today. Like I told you, actually, I don't know if I said in the beginning of the video that just like sitting is the only thing that bothers me from now on, which is the reason why I've been staying home from work is because I can't get on a bus for an hour there and an hour back and like be sitting there and then sitting at my desk at work. It's just too much. Like today I haven't sat down once and it's like 1 30. <laughs> so I just need to either like sit, stand or lay down. And so I can like walk around and do all that stuff, but I can't like sit, which is so weird and so strange. This has never happened to me before. So I'm still like trying to figure out what's going to work for me. I put on Tiger Balm this morning. It actually helped really well. And so I'm just going to try to like navigate it. Obviously, if it's hurting me enough, I won't go tonight, but um we'll see and then tomorrow i'm supposed to have a half day working from home but because i missed all these days if i'm feeling fine i'm gonna ask my boss if he wants me to come in but i feel like since this week was kind of a wash it wouldn't really make sense but we'll see what he says um and yeah that's all i have to update you guys on right now i'm gonna make some lunch and probably edit my charcoal haul because I did my Amazon one, it's up on my channel, like uploaded, but it's not live yet because I just uploaded a video last night and I feel like I'm bombarding you guys with videos and I'm trying to not like not overwhelm you. So I think the Amazon haul will go up Sunday morning and then the, no, Saturday morning and then the charcoal haul will go up Sunday night. That's like my plan. And then the, this vlog will go live like next Monday or whatever it is. I don't know. <laughs> Cause I'm also gonna vlog when I go home this weekend. Anyway, I'm getting hungry, so let's do a little grilled cheese. Good morning, everybody. So I was the worst that did not vlog either my outfit from last night, which I will insert a photo of here, or the actual event, or St. Ambrose, because we went there to have, well, people ate afterwards, but I already had dinner, so I just got a drink. Um, but it was really nice there, and um, the staff was very nice too. So we had a really great night. Um, the event that we went to was for Bridget. Her account is Acquired Style and she 
was doing a collab with Luxie Hair and has her own line of hair rollers, which is amazing. She's like the queen of hair rollers and blowouts and all that kind of stuff. So that's just like, yeah, it was really cool to see like everything come together and she just seems so happy and like obviously she should be. So that was really nice. And then yeah, San Ambrose was like this cute little French place. Um, like I said, I just got a drink and then we came back here. I did my skincare and went to bed. But today is Friday and it's a work from home Friday and you guys know what that means. I'll just tell you what it means just in case. I'm gonna do a whole Friday vlog because I'm gonna work from home until 1 p.m. and then we'll go down to Soho to take some pictures before Riza leaves. So yeah, I'm excited for that. Um, but I have to hop in the shower quickly before I sign on for work. So thank you guys so much for watching this vlog. I hope you all enjoyed it. If you are not subscribed, make sure you do that. We would love to have you as a part of the fam and I hope to see you all in my next video.